<laughs> so, Jay Ryder, last night I did uh, a video reply to this video. And while I'm doing the video reply, four minutes into the video, after I had dissed everybody around the planet, it just said, boom. I pissed somebody off so bad that I was monitoring the video upload that they shut my ass off during the upload. And you know me, I can't do things twice and three and four times, so I'm going to try to do it again the way I did it last night, which is virtually impossible. So, um, I'm watching you in this video, and you talk about the race card, blah, 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 blah. J Ryder for the race card does not exist. There's never, ever been a race card. These entities that control and distribute wealth and uh, respect and futures, um, these people have never done anything wrong. You're wrong, J. Ryder. There was never a holocaust. Never happened. I'm sorry to be the first person to tell you this, but Hitler never killed anybody. Um, those things, those incidents in Africa, those were just small skirmishes between groups of people. There's been no atrocities in Africa ever orchestrated by the United States of America, China, or any other superpower. Sorry. The guns and weapons that get to Africa are created and made by the Africans to wage war against Africans. You can't blame that on America. We wouldn't ship another country weapons to self-implode or destroy themselves. We wouldn't poison little kids. We wouldn't create pockets of civil war in any other country. We wouldn't do that. America would not do that to Africa. And as far as the slaves go, it was just a group of people trying to get people work. They had... They didn't know those people were going to die, you know, on those transport boats over here. They were trying to get these brothers and sisters jobs. They was going to let the brothers work the fields, and they was going to let the sisters work the masters. I mean, you know, it was set up perfect so brothers and sisters can live in harmony. There has been no atrocities on American soil. Ever. If you believe that slavery ever existed... Can you prove it? 300 years from now, you won't be able to prove it. There's no records of us ever being enslaved. We can't find them. I've never seen them. The only thing ever hinted towards anything about slavery was a, a movie in the 70s. I think it was called Rufus or something like that, where they, where they cut the guy's foot off because he tried to kick a little white kid, so they cut his foot off so he wouldn't kick and hurt anybody. Remember Rufus? About... The, the slaves and, and, and the masters took care of the slaves by letting them work their fields, you know, and gave, they gave them housing. They gave them medical. The moral of the story is this. I wish I could have babbled on like that for 15 minutes, but I can't. The truth of the matter is that the atrocities of man are being hidden. There will be no Holocaust in about 50 years. There was never any slavery in about 100 years. The moral of this story, the true underlining meaning of this story is men are blind and stupid. The controllers control with an iron fist. And these ignorance, the ignorance of all of us, have placed us in a position for certain things to happen again. But in my lifetime, in your lifetime, young man, we have probably seen more than a lot of people before us have seen. And we have thought more. We feel more than most people will ever feel or see. The thing with racism and the so-called race card is it has been played so many times that people don't even recognize it. You could be sitting at the table and they can call you nigga 15 million different ways, fire you, and, and do all kind of sad shit to you. And when you get up to the people and you stand up and the first thing they say is, well, what are you going to play? The race card. I went through an incident over at the Sonoma County Fairgrounds. These uh, co-workers of mine gave me a picture with the black ducks on it and the white ducks and the curve and the sign that says niggers. And when I went and complained about unfair work practices 
the investigator says, no, we have a better chance of proving racial discord. We have a better chance of proving that you didn't get this job because of your race. And I told the lady, no, there was other reasons I didn't get this job. What I'm complaining about is the unfair work practices. These people can call you names and disrespect you and sit there in front of your face and get a permanent full-time job when you have been a temp for six years. There's a problem with this. It's not racism. It's unfair work practices. Because if I own a company and I, and I see uh, London, Canada, and I see uh, J. Ryder 4, and I see a few people off this YouTube in line, even, even old Father Judgment, if I see these people in line to try to get a job in a factory or company I own, hell and back, these people are not going to have to go through the process. And that is an unfair work situation when I'm just going to give my people something. That's unfair. I can't actually call it racism. It's unfair. And there is racism. There's racism so thick, it's pitiful. When you go to get a job and the lady tells you, well, you need uh, three forms of ID. Uh, you know we drug test here. When you go to a job and someone's trying to discourage you, like the Hispanic lady, a friend of mine went to a temp agency to get a job friend of him at this one factory says, come on, I got a spot open for you. We're going to hold it, but you got to go through the temp agency. The Hispanic lady told her boss, oh, this guy doesn't have a car. He put a Hispanic man in there. Then you know, the guy called and he says, um, I'm supposed to start work, you know. And this guy's from Kenya. And um, the lady says, the, the owner of the temp agency says, well, they had the job for you, but you don't have a car. He says, I got three cars. Well, you told uh, Maria that you didn't have a car. He says, ma'am, I, ma I got three cars. I drove here. I take the other employees to work. So Maria says, well, I didn't think he would like the job. So Maria tells the boss, well, I, I didn't think he would fit in. Maria tells the boss everything. But I didn't give him the job because he's black. But she put a Mexican dude in there who eventually got fired. I don't know why he got fired, but, you know, they end up giving Joseph the job. But for people to be put in position, regardless of what color they are, the race car does get used. It gets used to hold certain people out. It gets used to let people in. But the reality of the race card is those who do not recognize the race card can't see it. They can't see when they pull it out and use it. They can't see the race card can be used for nepotism. They can't see the race card being used for anything other than a black person trying to get free or wiggle out or try to get something free out of a situation. The race card has been used to generalize a black man or black woman's needs, but that race card has never been able to be played by us. We had to have some shitty ass lawyer or some crooked motherfucker to step up to make sure our race card works. And but then it taints everything that we want to pull the card out for. In my situation, I never did get to use the race card because someone white decided that that's the best way we should go. And I lost. I never got one day of respect out of that place in the end. I looked like uh, the first thing I screamed was black, 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 black. I look like I said I did not get the job because I was black. But I never said that I did not get the job because I was black. I said I did not get this job because of unfair work practices. And you know what unfair work practice is, my friend? It's just another man using the race card. Oh, shit. God damn. I had to get a damn desk up in this mother. Oh, Jay, Jay. I tell you, thank you again for the trials and tribulations of AIX. But when it comes to the race card, man, you can have a whole deck and not be able to play one. Thank you. For those who are out there who are just watching, you've been tubed.